What's going on guys? I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. I uh, just left work, had to run a few errands. So I decided to make a video answering the question uh, that I get a lot of times, which is why did I, a 25 year old single male, buy a G37 sedan over a coupe? Yes, that's right, I have a sedan. And here's why. So let's rewind uh, about a year, a little over a year ago, when I decided to get the car. So what drove me to get a new car was the fact that I was making some plans uh, for my future. Um, and I thought it would be a good idea to um, kind of upgrade a little bit my daily driver, have something that um, was a little more practical, a little bit more reliable. Uh, before this car, I was daily driving a uh, 97 Acura Integra. Not a bad car, but um, you know, a little dated. Um, higher miles, uh, doesn't have a lot of the features that this car has. Um, so I decided to upgrade. And I knew no matter what car I got, I wanted it to be a sedan, um, mainly for practicality reasons. You know, I was planning to buy a house. You know, I, I felt like I could make better use of a sedan, uh, the extra space. Uh, it was more of a convenience decision for me. So when I started looking, um, I knew a lot about the G37, the coupe, um, but I wasn't too familiar with the sedan, um, so I started doing some research. I was happy to find that the sport trim on the sedan and the coupe are virtually identical, um, especially if you get the six-speed manual like I did. Um, you will also get the larger Akibono brakes that are found in the coupe. I would say the only difference that I've found or that I know of between the coupe and the sedan Again, the same package, the sport package, would be the coupe comes with the 19 inch wheels, whereas the sedan only has the 18s. I believe the coupe has a little bit uh, stiffer suspension, stiffer chassis. Um, they also rated it with two more horsepower. That's negligible. I, I'm pretty sure it's due to a little bit of a different exhaust configuration, maybe a slight ECU tweak um, to cater more towards the, um, the sport crowd. I also knew that I didn't want a coupe. I already have my Z, that's my fun car. So I figured, you know, with me getting a little older, um, you know, branching out on my own, it was time for me to have, you know, more of a, a little bit of a newer, updated, uh, reliable car. Something that I can just, you know, jump into, go, you know, haul some stuff around if I needed to. You know, I can't tell you how many times all my friends just piled in here, we went out, and did what we, you know, did whatever. Uh, I've taken my family in the car. You know, this car's been to New York, driven through, you know, Times Square. It's just, it, you can use it for anything, it's versatile. Um, not saying the coupe isn't, and you can't, you can use it for the same stuff. I just like the added factor of, you know, more space in the back, the, the, the extra doors. Yes, the coupe does have back seats as well. However, they're a little smaller and hard to get to since you have to pop forward the front seats. Another thing to note, if you're considering the G37, either the sedan or the coupe, is I believe the sedan is only rated at two pounds heavier than the coupe. Let's think about that. Two extra doors, more space, overall bigger car, but it's virtually the same weight. So the more I considered it, it was kind of a no-brainer to go with the sedan. Everything was pointing towards that direction. The only, the only challenge that presented itself was the trim that I wanted. I wanted the sedan, the sport package, with the six-speed manual transmission. And honestly, they're almost impossible to come by in good condition with decent miles on them. It was almost as if it was, uh, you know, meant to be when I was searching for this car. I searched in, I think, a two or three hundred mile radius from my, my house, and there was only three available, this car being one of them, but the other two didn't have clean titles. I think one had one or two accidents, and the other was a theft recovery. So this was the only clean title, six-speed sedan sport, um, and it actually happened to be a half hour from my house. So I think it was meant to be. Actually, when I when I went to check it out for the first time, um, I went in the dealership and the uh, salesman didn't even know what I was talking about because apparently it had just come in on a trade-in. They had it at an overflow lot. Um, it wasn't inspected, cleaned, or anything like that. Uh, so it was just perfect timing that um, you know I found the car online and uh, drove it home a couple days later. The, the performance of the sedan, pretty much identical to the coupe. Like I said, same weight. Um, it's got the same engine, transmission, rear end, um, there's virtually no difference. Uh, the only difference is between, you know, what transmission you get, the auto, 
um, or the six speed, and then of course if you get the X, which has the all wheel drive. Despite living in New Jersey with, you know, we can get some harsh winters, I did choose the rear wheel drive, you know, because even though I was getting a sedan, um, I still wanted to maintain, you know, that sporty feel of it, uh, really, you know, be in control of the car. I really love rear wheel drive. So I decided to get the rear wheel drive over the X, which is the all wheel drive. I've been through one winter with it. Um, I have some nice all season tires um, and it really hasn't been a problem. Uh, you know, it'll get through some light snow. Haven't had anything really heavy yet, but it'll get through light snow without a problem. Uh, you just have to drive, you know, a little bit more careful. It's nothing like my Z was, you know, when I drove that in the snow. It has a little bit more weight, keeps a little bit more planted. I honestly can't think of any drawbacks for me personally of owning a sedan over the coupe. Um, again, that's personal opinion. You have to pick what, you know, suits your situation the best. One thing that's worth mentioning is Infiniti did a great job updating this car, updating the G37 uh, compared to the G35. For a little while, I considered purchasing a G35 sedan, um, and I just, you know, I couldn't, I, you know, as much as I love Nissans and Infinities, you know, uh, you know, some would say I'm, you know, a Nissan fanboy, which, whatever. But anyway, um, as much as I love Nissan and Infiniti, uh, the G35 sedan, um, you know, before they switched the body style, it just, it, it couldn't grow on me. It was too plain, too boxy looking. Love the G35 coupe, but the sedan just didn't do it for me. However, you know, when they came out with the G37, uh, I absolutely fell in love when I saw the sedan. To me, it looks aggressive, sporty, um, and it's just an all around great car. Interior wise, sedan and coupe are exactly the same same features like i said the trim level i got which is the sport package the six speed uh comes fully loaded the tech package which includes bluetooth all that fun stuff um, along with the audio package bose uh, sound system it's really an overall great package when i was first considering a new car um, i considered the audi s4 um, the BMW 335i and I just couldn't justify you know the added price compared to the G37. Nissan just really puts together a great package. They may not hold their resales well as say a Honda or Toyota but um, man you can get a good bang for your buck with Nissan. That has obviously showed over the years with you know the Z car, uh, the GTR, uh, it's just a really well put together car. There's times that I forget that I'm driving a sedan. I mean, um, you know, if I'm driving spiritedly or aggressively, you know, I, unless I look back, I forget that there's two extra seats behind me and two extra doors. So there you have it. That's why I chose to get the sedan over the coupe. It's been suiting me very well. Very happy with my purchase. Don't regret it one bit. I hope this video can benefit anybody that's possibly comparing the, the G37 uh, in general or, you know, deciding if they want to get the coupe or the sedan. Uh, it's a great car. Props to Nissan for putting together a, uh, a very nice car. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and continue to watch for um, new content. I'll be trying to put out as much as I can. Like I stated in my previous video, I'm in school right now and I work full time, so, you know, time's a little tight, but um, I'm making every effort to put new videos out, and I hope you guys can uh, get some enjoyment from them. All right, thank you, see you next time.